It's the new year, it's 2020. I hope you had a great holiday and welcome back. If you're like me, it's your first real day back to work. I did a little work on January 2nd and 3rd, but for me that was more planning and looking ahead. It was a really interesting process because when I was thinking about the year, I was thinking about what are the things that I want to accomplish. But the way I was asking that question was more about what don't I have now that I want to have by the end of the year. The whole concept of the question was framed around what is missing. And I realized that at some point because when my mindset is around what's missing, I tend to focus on what's missing and what will be different when I have that thing. I shifted the whole question around though and I started to ask myself a different question. I imagine myself at the end of 2020, at the very end, just New Year's Eve, December 2020, looking forward to the next year, 2021, but also looking back at the year that had just elapsed and asking myself, what was it that was most meaningful for me in the year that had just passed? So it's an imagination process to put myself there looking backwards. And the energy that I brought to that question was totally different than that energy of sitting at the start of the year looking ahead and thinking about how am I going to fill in the gaps of what's missing? How am I going to solve the problems that I'm facing now? Those tend to be focused on problems and what's missing, the lack. Instead of sitting at the end of the year and looking back and asking myself, why was this such a great year? What are the things that I did and accomplished? And what are the new things that I tried? So I'm sharing that with you today because we're still in this wonderful new energy of a new year. And it's a time of thinking and planning. And I invite you to try that on. Try on that process of putting yourself at the end of the year and looking back. You may have heard the expression, hindsight is 2020. And it's you're able to use the knowledge and wisdom of hindsight by trying that process. So give it a shot and let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear about it. Happy New Year. Have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week.